Tonight I'd like to talk briefly about the value of developing a personal life mission statement, which I can honestly say has changed my life, and the value of encouraging your employees to develop a life mission statement. A little background. From college and then seminary, I did the next logical thing and joined my brother in business. Uh, over the first four or five years, we grew from one business to four businesses spread across the state. We were running like chickens with our heads cut off. And everything felt absolutely out of control. It was in the midst of that process, overwhelmed in 1992, <laughs> that I began the process of thinking about a life mission statement. Not because life was crazy, but because in the midst of that craziness, I also wasn't happy. I also didn't feel like I was doing what I was meant to do. So in 1992, I began the process of developing a life mission statement. So a life mission statement is a succinct statement that captures what you uniquely are meant to, do, to be in the depths of your soul and what you are uniquely gifted to do when you are absolutely working at your best. This process for me took about three months of deep self-examination and looking carefully at everything that I was doing. The process for me, I went through and I asked myself two questions to get at this. Who am I uniquely created to be? The, the key word there is uniquely. You know, a great father doesn't qualify as a life mission statement. Who are, who am I uniquely created to be? And then the second question, what am I uniquely created to do? Who am I uniquely created to be and what am I uniquely created to do? So going through this process and digging really, really deep beyond the obvious brings us to a point where there's an intersection between who we are and what we're doing, what we're passionate about, which may have nothing to do with what we're good at, and what we are really gifted to do, what we accomplish in life, and what we care about accomplishing in life. That a life mission statement should incorporate strongly your passions, it should emphasize your strengths and talents, and take seriously your weaknesses. When finished, it should deeply resonate with your soul. The proposition I'd like to add on to this process of a life mission statement is the thought of what would happen if your employees, if you encouraged your employees to explore their life mission statement. When almost 1.7 million employees were asked the simple question at work, do you have the opportunity to do what you do best every day, only 20% said yes. Only 20% said yes. Of the companies in that survey, where over 50% of the people said yes, increased productivity in those companies by 38%, decreased turnover, and increased customer satisfaction by 44%. In other words, for those that paid attention to this, for those companies that paid attention, they were more productive with less turnover, happier employees, and happier customers. A big win. Is there a risk that employees will leave their jobs once they understand what they are uniquely <laughs> wired to do? Well, it depends. It depends on whether you as a company are willing to adapt and work to try to help the people as they find what they're doing. If you are willing to do that, then you have the ability to transform the culture of your company by going through this process. The challenge I would like to leave you tonight, two challenges. One, you personally do the hard work of discovering your life mission statement. And two, <laughs> take the risk of encouraging your employees to discover their life mission statement. So a favorite quote of mine from St. Irenaeus, way, way back, he said, the glory of God is a human being fully alive. The glory of God is a human being fully alive. 
I firmly believe from my life that a life mission statement worked at and lived consistently helps us and we can help our companies towards these goals. Thank you.